happened to what? What happened? Hey everybody and welcome back. Got a lot of new subscribers lately and uh, I think they're mostly here because of old Pickle. Pickle's my 58 panel bus. Uh, this is a nine window bus if you're not familiar with that. Uh, you haven't seen one with the plexiglass windows cut in the sides have you? So this one has someone has cut plexiglass windows in the side. We did a run video on this a few months ago. If you haven't seen that I'll try to remember to put a link right here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm anxious to get going on this. The weather is finally warming up. Yesterday was a little cool, but it is Easter day, and we are going to get started on this as soon as we can. So stick with me. I know that uh, seems like a, a promise long ahead, but it's coming. We now have to get the two cars behind it out of the way. The Mini is about to click over 400,000 miles, and it has decided to start puking oil everywhere. So I've quit driving it for a couple of days. The boys went on a cruise last Saturday, and I'll put a link up in the dis in the uh, cards. Uh, try to remember to put one up anyway on that cruise video. And this guy, or gal, I should say, this is Ruby, has dropped a clutch cable somewhere along the path. I think the easiest place for us to begin is in the back. Uh, obviously, it needs to be hooked up in two places. It needs to be hooked up at the pedal assembly and if you replace the cable you have to take that pedal assembly out I really hope it's not broke up there uh, and then if we see the cable is still hooked up in the back you've got to break somewhere in the middle because the clutch pedal just goes to the floor so let's climb under there and see kind of what we are dealing with here and hopefully it's something simple if the cable appears to be intact I will I don't know why my camera keeps flipping back and forth there I will uh, pull on that cable and you should be able to hear it clunk the pedal clunk against the floorboard. So let's climb under there and take a look. If we can get this one out of the way, we can get the mini backed out to see what's wrong with it, and then we can move on to pickle. It's always something. It would probably be a little easier if I took a wheel off. But there is your clutch cable, and I am not seeing a wing nut on that anywhere. <laughs> you guys see it? Do you see it? It's laying right up there behind the clutch arm. Boy, he about lost that. Let's see if I can get a light up there and get an extra hand here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film and do this or not. <laughs> I just touched it and it dropped down. Well, I managed to save it. Now let's figure out why. That guy is having issues. Let me see if I can pull that out. So you're just laying under uh, the car with the camera turned the other way, but I want you to hear something. I'm going to pull on this cable. I'm going to push it towards the front of the car, and then I'm going to pull it back. That's moving the pedal. So it's not broke in the middle. So, uh, I think the nut just came off. He lost his nuts. So getting ready to put that back on there, and it kind of looked to me like the, uh, get a hold of it here. Kind of looked like the threads were worn a little bit on the end of the clutch cable. But I think they're fine. I think this is our issue. I don't see anything in there, really. It's going to hold it on there, so if I put, watch this. I think this was our issue. See, there's the end of the cable, and I just pushed it on. Watch this. Just pulled it off. So this guy stripped out. Uh, there's probably not enough meat there. Looks like it's worn pretty good inside. And I have another one of these. So why don't we just replace that guy and uh, be done with it. Alright, let me go into the pile, grab another one of those, and I bet that fixes our issues. 
All right, let's see uh, what that guy looks like. Should look a little better than the one we took out of there. The bag open one handed here. I see threads in there. Let's go side by side. One of these things is not like the other. All right, let's see if that cable is any good. Try threading this one on and see if it'll actually hold. And then I think we got it fixed. Seems to be holding fine on there. Uh, the threads on the cable seem to be fine. I've got it threaded on just a little ways and I'm pulling on it and it's staying tight. So I do not think the threads on the cable are hurt at all. I believe just because of the softness of this material, on that wing nut it just pulled it through there so we're gonna pull the uh, clutch arm clutch lever arm right here back stick that clutch cable through put this wing nut on the back and then we'll have to figure out where we want that clutch uh, to be adjusted and we should be good to go all right so we've got that all in there i've tightened it about where i think it should be just based on the tension and uh, I've got it down probably half inch to, so we're about on the car. I'm, the nut's probably about right there on what I've got threads poking through on the clutch cable. The free play in the pedal should be about a half inch, three quarters of an inch. Anything beyond an inch is really probably gonna be too much. It's gonna wanna shudder. So you can see I'm probably at about three quarters of an inch there. It's still kind of wanting to shudder a little bit when I back up. So why don't we hit that one more time and see if we can't, with a turn or two turns of that uh, butterfly nut, make that where it's not wanting to do that quite so bad. You know what the best part about trying to adjust a clutch on a lowered beetle is? Absolutely. Nothing is the best part. So there we are. I don't know if you can tell how far that one side, the driver's side is up, but as you can see, barely got enough room to get under there. Car is crazy low. Before we head down under there, I thought I would mention, I got this little, uh, this little guy, it's a Polaroid cube. And the really cool thing about him is on the bottom, there's a magnet. And he's pretty strong. I mean, that's pretty strong. I bought it thinking that I might, for areas when you're filming under a car and you really can't hold a camera up under there, we might be able to just kind of stick them where we need them as far as getting some minimal footage under there. Uh, so maybe let's try that out while we're, while we're down under the car. We may not have enough light, so I'll take a flashlight down there. Never used this thing before. It'll be the first time I've ever used it. So let's see what we can do with it. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of a cool thing, though, if it has any kind of quality at all, just because of the magnet feature. Uh, and ironically enough, I ordered it from Zulily. It was supposed to come with a little kit. It did not come with a kit. I called them today. Just got this today. And they are crediting me the entire camera purchase, which was $29.99. And they're also giving me a $15 in-store credit, so thank you, Zulily. If this is anything at all, I am very, very happy. Let's pop that on there and see if it can uh, show any of my coverage at all. Alright, I don't know if you're in the shot or not. I've got that little Polaroid camera up there. I don't know how the sound is going to be. It's the first time I've ever used it. So you're getting to try it with me. Just gonna adjust that one more turn like we decided. And I probably need to tighten those up a little bit. This was a much easier fix than I had anticipated it to be. This was easy peasy. I think I'm just gonna go about 
right there. That's about all it needs. All right, let's give that a whirl. Take a look at this camera and see if it, uh, if you can even see what I'm seeing. So here's the hoping we don't have to jack that up again. This jack's kind of hard to release. Are you going for a test drive? Mm -hmm. Got your shades on? All right. Window is up or down? Up. You want them up? Yeah, but not mine. Okay, you want yours down? Yeah. All right, we'll leave it down. Let's see what we got. Okay? You think I did a good job on the clutch? Buddy, what do you think? What? You think we got it? Got it fixed? Seems to be driving pretty good. Well, what, what, what happened to the beetle? What happened to what? What happened to the beetle? The clutch cable came disconnected and I had to reconnect it. And then we had to adjust it because we didn't know where the correct setting was. Well, folks, I'm going to call that a fixed car. It is shifting, running, driving. Everything seems to be working fine. Aaron says it's shifting better than it ever has. Um, my guess is that wing nut's been a problem for a while, and I just didn't notice it until it got bad enough it popped it off all the way. So we're going to call that one done, for now anyway. And we will catch you on the next one. Really happy with how this car has turned out. It's a really fun car. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. See you next time.